Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology. I'm doing this one with my new wife, Kathy Night Waits Visuals, because hopefully we're on honeymoon or doing something fabulous this week because we've been married for three days. Anyway, here's your weekly astrology. Leo, you magnificent creature. This week, there's a massive shift in energy. And for you, it's all about health and well-being, fundamentally. And it's about you getting your shit together and making things work for you. But luckily, this Mars and Jupiter conjunction, Mars being the planet of action, Jupiter being the planet of good fortune, allows you to have a massive breakthrough at work and with shifting a pattern that you've been hanging on to for a long time. On top of that, you could achieve something spectacular, but you've got to be on it. And most importantly, I would say you've got to take care of yourself this week. On the 23rd, for instance, we have Mars and Pluto conjunction, which is very bloody intense. And, um, you know, look after yourself, especially this week. Now, Mercury, the planet of communication is direct, thank goodness. Still a bit in retro shadow, but fundamentally direct. And a secret could be revealed this week. You are discussing things of great importance to you, to do with power, powerlessness, sex, sexuality, and possibly a kind of something that's been overwhelming you is resolved. And you're talking on a very, very deep level. There's nothing superficial about communication this week. It's all about the meaning of life, the meaning of love, the meaning of obsession, addiction, and desire. So look out for some very interesting conversations. Anyone who's superficial this week bores you to death. You only want people to talk about real things. Having said that, for on the 20th, the sun shifts signs and it's going into a great place for you. It's going into fellow fire sign Aries. So you're feeling optimistic and bouncy and you want to explore and you want to adventure and you want to embrace new experiences. And you're, and you're looking at the world and, you know, Let's face it, the world is going through a very tough time at the moment, but you managed to have this faith in your heart. Now, the biggest news of the, this week, arguably, is that Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility, is shifting signs. Now, Saturn is all about what we need to learn, and it, it's all about us having to show up, but it can also be about commitment, and Saturn is going into your relationship and partnership zone. Maybe that you end up making over the next um, year, or 18 months you you end up making a commitment that is very very long standing for some people there could be a marriage in the offing for other people it's you know a relationship shifting forward or you finally committing to a relationship or a partnership but also i have to say coming back to our own energy which is what we all, always must do it tells us that we have to look at what our responsibilities are in any problems we have in relationships and if you're in a relationship now, really take responsibility for your stuff. And that is the key to your freedom. If you want to check out your written monthly, weekly, yearly astrology, pop over to my website, michellenight.com. I'm not doing readings at the moment, but I do have a company of some of the best psychics and astrologers in the world. I've had the company for 20 years. I handpicked them and they are fabulous. So I'm going to start to show you, starting now, their little videos on here. My name is Alexandra. I'm a motivational and inspirational reader. First of all, I'm psychic. I'm like a channel. I'm channeling messages as and when they just come and go. Working on the phone is much easier compared to uh, having a face-to-face -face reading. It allows me to express 100% of my skills. I pick up the phone and I need to hear the voice. They don't need to tell me anything. I don't need to hear any details from them. I just dive straight into the messages I'm getting, describing their current situation so that they get some validation that I know what I'm talking about. I'm non-judgmental and very much patient and understanding. Don't involve my views on the situation, obviously. It's good to hear that people come back and telling me that things did happen as I predicted they would, or thanking me for the advice I've given them. This is the biggest satisfaction in this work. So that's the whole point. This is the whole value of what I do. 